Hey there, it's Pop Mossen, and nice of you to join me as we are back with our two point hospital to heal the sick and to cure the ill. There's a lot of Q, yeah, I know. Try to upgrade that, but that ain't gonna happen soon. But yeah, it's quite busy in our hospital because we have such a nice reputation. Now let's see, I think we should pick this one up, turn it around. Ooh, there's a lot of animals getting out there. There he is. Bye bye. Alright, because now maybe we can squeeze in another one here. Not sure, but we can try. Ooh, there's a lot of critters here. Didn't know that. Well, now we do, but it's not really what I want to see, of course. Well, let's see. I think we can squeeze in. Another little room here, but I have to be sure. So let's get rid of all this. Let's just give it a place. And then we'll see. A fracture ward required. All right, we need a fracture ward and we need it to cure someone. And that's always a good thing. Let's check the equipment, by the way. So let's see, where should we put our little fracture ward? Well, right here we have a few cure rooms. Here we have the normal ward, so I guess we should put in a fracture ward right there. Where's the fracture ward? Right here. I'm not going to make it too big since we. I'm not sure how many people will come in. So maybe. We didn't get a lot so far. So I guess we'll start off with just two beds and then we'll see. And if that's not enough, we can always. Make either a new one or just grow this one or that's a little bit up for what we want. But I think that's for the best. So yeah, this is it. A little fracture ward. I guess we can No, we can't put it there because we needed red benches where or purple benches where the curing is done. So let's get a few benches out there. Let's get time going again. Alright, we got a fracture ward. Let's hope it makes us some money. I think we should copy this one now, see if it fits. Well, I guess we'll have to move these two back a little bit. Oh, we can't. Hmm. Too bad. All right, we'll keep it right there. We'll move this one up here. Then we can move this one right here. It's a bit tight, but I think that's the way to go. And now we have an extra office. Nice. Well, let's hope we can do a good job. Let's see, can we hire a good doctor? Ooh, this one has the diagnosis traits all up, so that's good. We can start to work there, and let's see if we can cure more patients now. DNA lab required. All right, get the patient to wait. I'm not sure that we already have a DNA lab, but if we do, we can just build it. Let's see. Pest control, chromotherapy. Doesn't sound like the DNA lab. So, yeah, oh, we were researching it. All right, well, let's get the patient to wait, see if we can get it in time. If not, well, that's just it then. If we can, that would be great. Ooh, this person didn't make it. This one did, so that's good. A lot of people required a shock clinic. If too many janitors, yeah, that'll be fine. There's plenty of curing to be done every now and then. All right, you can go work in the fracture ward. People are coming in to visit this. That's nice. Deluxe clinic. All right. Well, I guess, finally, we are getting some buildings that we haven't used so far. Or at least not used much, that will finally be used now. Alright. No, we'll put you in the corner here. Alright, we need to put in windows, of course, to get the prestige up, so people will enjoy working there. We need to get an extinguisher in case of fire. We need a coffee maker. And, of course, a chair. Where's the chair? Here's the chair. Maybe a little plant. 
Yes, that works. All right, that's it. There's the deluxe clinic. We can even upgrade it to be more efficient. Now well, let's do so straight away. Why not? The better chance we have of curing people, the better it is for us. Ooh, this, this is a good guy because he can use radiology. We don't have that yet, but as soon as we do, we're going to need him anyway. Right, let's try and fix this. Perfect. It's very tight with all these small rooms and buildings. I mean, if if you get this one, you can't use this whole middle section. That's not that's not handy. There's not a lot of room for all the things that we require. Although it is quite spacious, so Please don't unplug any vital maybe at a certain point we'll have to move all the diagnosis rooms here, for instance. And then spread around all the treatment things, so that they will get in first, then report, then get diagnosed. Uh, we'll have to see, but yeah, there's, those are options. Quite a few patients have to wait, so they'll be... ...winning for the queue, yeah. We need to be in first place. Alright, seismic activity coming in, go 90 days without a death, yeah. Not surprised we didn't make that. Alright, let's repair these machines. That one doesn't need repairs. Ooh, yeah, this one needs repairs. I have to keep everything up to date. Ooh, DNA lab required. Yeah, well, get the patient to wait. We're not there yet, but maybe at a certain point we will be there. Anything else we need? No, not really. Not a DNA lab, yeah. So we desperately need a DNA lab. I do believe we have more doctors with the research trait. And if we can find one, right here for instance, pick you up, put you in there, get another doctor, put him in here, so that research goes twice as fast, because that's basically the case. If you get two researchers instead of one, it's going twice as fast. Yeah. How far along are we? Alright, almost three quarters done of the research. So just some more, and then we are able to build the DNA lab. I'll have to be patient, but then we can. Yeah, he's going to the start from there. It's not supposed to happen. But... It is what it is. At least these four do their job now. Yes. No. Bye bye. Well, maybe it's time to start buying this, but how costly is it? 40,000. We have that. I think I'm going to buy it anyway. There we are. Let's sell it. Is it pretty messy or did they already? It's pretty clean actually. That's good. And I think there's some room for the machines that we want, like this. And if we move all diagnosis rooms into this area, that might be good. Question is, how many of these can we fit in? Let's just try and copy it and see. So we can put in one, two, not three. Now that's an issue. If we do it like this, we can put in one. Also, not two. Yeah, that will completely fill. We have to make them smaller than we can. Seven patients with shock horror. Yes, bring them on. That's fine. Alright, so we really need a DNA lab because we need to cure patients in it. And we need to upgrade five machines. That would be cool. Ah, we can upgrade that one. Perfect. Not now, no staff training yet. So I guess if we build diagnosis rooms in here that are a tiny bit smaller... Get the patient to wait. Best control. Alright. We'll build a pest control. We can do that. 
question is where. So the big question is how big does it need to be? It needs to be 4x4. Four four. So yeah, not there. Not in this building. So perhaps we'll build it right here. If we can. Yes, we can. Alright, we'll put the door on this side then. Get in the pest control machine. We need to put in a radiator. Let's get some windows. That's a lot of windows, but that's fine. Let's get in a coffee maker. Plants. And a chair. Probably an extinguisher. That's it. Let's get a few benches out here. And a drink machine. And a snack machine. And of course we also need a bin. Perfect, that's it. Well, that's done. Alright. Now let's focus on this building. I think if we do... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 5. There's space for 5. Alright, if you make it 3 by 3, we can do 1. Then we can do 2. And then perhaps a toilet or something like that. Hmm. And then we can do 1, 2 on this side as well. Oh, that's interesting. Ooh, the DNA lab is unlocked. Perfect. Yes, we want to stop editing this. We'll do this later. First, let's get the DNA lab going and get a new research plan. Probably for an upgrading the DNA lab, since we're going to use that quite a lot. Let's see, can we fit the DNA lab here? Let's pause for a second. I don't know how big this needs to be. Yes, we can fit this in here. Perfect. Alright, let's... Place this bench a bit more here so that there's free space to walk. Let's finish the DNA lab, get that going to bring in the extra money that comes with it. And of course, hopefully, it will also bring in our first star, because that's mainly what we need to get that first star. Right, we need to put a small radiator in here. That's fine. Let's get two benches out. There we go. Capture two ghosts. So we can try that. Patients are dying. So yeah, let's capture a few ghosts. Guess we need to hire another nurse. Perfect. All right. Yeah, our money is getting rather thin, but that's because we built a few rooms, and I think if we save a little bit of money now, then we'll be fine. At least we can say that this level does pose a bit more of a challenge than the other ones. At least so far it does. Oh, this guy is going to die. Well, that's a ghost to capture, I hope. Trying to better the DNA machine. Hire janitor. We have four janitors. Would like to hire. Yeah, let's do the one with maintenance. Is it cold? Ah, a little bit. Well, we can just buy an extra radiator for this room. That's not a problem. Right there. Perfect. Alright, 51,000 already. So, yeah, we are making money. That's a good thing. There's a little queue outside the heart racing machine. It's not really what we want to see, of course. And there's now nobody using the DNA machine. Ooh, we are very short in nurses. So let's get another one in here. Because that will speed this up, because there's a lot of patients queuing right here. Probably just one nurse there, she's coming, so they're not really busy. Alright, 
VIP didn't really like our hospital, but that's okay. We can deal with it. We also need an extra doctor still. Alright, we'll hire you. This guy's dying. Oh, we need a genetics qualification. Do we have that? No. Because this is radiology. So, we need to get a training room, I guess. To really start training these people. Ooh, yearly rewards. Well, I don't think we get many rewards. We got these two last year, but... Yeah, we didn't do that good. We are the best research hospital and the employer of the year. Well, that's fine. Wish we could do a little better, but... Hardly doubt it. Let's check our staff. If we have a doctor with the DNA lab trait. No, we don't. Alright. Oops. Another warning. Any machines that need repairing ASAP? Well... A little bit. Although they are doing what they can. So, yeah, not too bad, but... Whew. Whoa, this guy's big. Compared to the others. Oh, well. I guess everybody is fine. We survived seven people outside of the DNA lab. Still not have a DNA doctor. So, I guess it's time to get a little sh training room going then. And start training someone be in the DNA doctor's business. Well, we don't have that many staff, so we don't need that many tables. We'll put in a few windows. It's really hard to make this look like a nice hospital. Alright, training. We need genetics training. And we'll train one, two, three doctors. We will do that straight away, because we need them quick. Alright, why are my shock patients all dying? That's not good. Guess we need to upgrade shock therapy next. This is the regular discharger, so... If you upgrade it, that might work. And nine patients waiting. Oh, can't wait for this to start so that we can put people in there. Or somebody should come in here that we can hire. Highly doubt it, though. We'll hire an extra researcher then. Put this up to three. Special report. Cure three out of seven. We lost a little bit of reputation. Well, I don't I don't think that's a big problem. Because of our good reputation, a lot of patients are coming towards us. And if we lose a bit of reputation, that might just save us a lot of trouble. Because we get a few less patients and we can handle them all better. Because it's so busy now, we're not able to help everyone. That's not good for us, so could be a good thing if we get slightly fewer patients. Alright, the line here is gone, so that worked. It makes us some money, that's cool. We can upgrade our ultrasonic cannon. Ooh, is that this one? Nice. Alright, well... Going to do that later on. This one's almost upgraded. The Deluxe Clinic, that's good. Is there a patient coming in? Yeah. And with an upgraded Deluxe Clinic, we have a higher chance of getting it Sure. Someone actually. Ooh, there's two even. That's nice. Staff promotion. Yeah, fine. We'll promote you. So, how are we doing here? 57%. 84%. That's nice. That's nice. So, you should go to the clinic as soon as you're done. You're learning quite fast. All right, she now has the genetics trait, so let's get working in here. No, do not get out. Yeah, she gets in. Perfect. Start healing, because we need to heal those ten patients. All right, we are slowly making some money. So I think it's time to start moving some of these around. Now, this one is empty, so let's edit it. Let's pick it up. Let's move it over here. We can can we keep this one big? No, we can't. Because that won't do us any good. So we'll have to squeeze things in a bit. Move this over here. Then we'll move this right here. Uh, 
We'll get rid of these three parts. Put you in here. The window can go there. We need a door, of course. And once we have done this with one, we can just copy it. But now we have a smaller one. So let's just copy it. Put it right in here. Yes, that's too extra. Then we need to build a little toilet. So that people can use the facilities. Right there, two is enough. We'll put in a hand dryer. Ooh, I think I want to move the hand dryer. And we'll put in a sink. Just to keep things clean. Let's put in a few benches. It's quite costly to actually copy these things. But I think it'll be beneficial in the end. And now, we can copy it again. We can just place it right here. Yes. And we can do another copy. Place it right here. Now we have very good diagnosis areas and rather small. So soon we can sell these. All right, let's see. Can we fit a reception desk in here? No, that's too small. All right. Staff promotion. All right. Yeah, we'll promote you. All right. The pharmacy. Well, we have two, so that should work out. All right. This is all good. All we need now is to cure 10 patients in the DNA lab. I believe there's one working here, but it's not going that well or not that fast. I think the biggest problem is that we're not really curing anyone. I see the beers. I mean, it's still set zero, so we didn't cure anyone there. Get a level five room. No way, we're not going to get into a level five room. All right, this one's empty now. So let's just sell it. Yes. I do believe we have to set up some sort of a reception here. Maybe we can do it in front of this door. That'll be good. We get a reception block here. We can get some extra um, diagnosis rooms here. And if they have to go here to be diagnosed, to, to sign in, basically, because that's it, they have to sign in. I think that will be beneficial to us. All right. I'm going to try it. Let's just move a few parts of the hospital. See what it does. Well, this should be it. At least this way we can house more people. Yeah, I'll just do it like this. So now they have to go here. They'll sign in. They get here for diagnosis. So we need to move these two as well. So yeah, let's get rid of this one. Let's get rid of this one. So now when they want to sign in, they'll have to walk all this way, but that's fine because the time starts ticking as soon as you take in a patient and we just start to take them in right here. That's just that's just fine. I don't really mind. And now we can probably just move this room somewhere here. Let's see? That'll be nice. Well, that's maybe not how it will fit. I think we have to make it a bit smaller as well to really make it fit. All right. I guess I'm doing it this way. Yes, I want to stop editing the room, of course. Training required. Not now. You can get a promotion and impress a VIP. I'm just going to leave these two and I'll build new ones. That's better. Hopefully we can squeeze in two. Let's try cardiology. Can we do two? One. We'll just build a small cardiology room this time. And yeah, let's get in an extinguisher. Coffee maker, of course, and a chair. We need a small radiator. Right there. Chair. And then we need a plant. Two actually, alright, that's it. Perfect. 
treatment in a fracture ward. That's fine. Now, can I copy this one? Not quite. Can I move this up a bit so that it'll fit? Not really. Hmm. But, of course, I can get rid of this one. And put this one there. That should do the trick. And then we can edit this one again. Put the reception pod back in. Perfect. Need a reception. Well, we have a reception. We'll have three assistants. We'll hire a fourth. Because a lot of patients are queuing right now, but that's okay. We need nurses to work in here. Two benches right here, one here, one there. Let's put in some machinery they can use. Perhaps we also need one or two radiators. Yeah, I think people are getting cold, so let's put in a few radiators right here. Ah, this is doing the trick nicely. Staff challenge, capture two ghosts. Yeah, we didn't get any we didn't get enough ghosts. Which is interesting, but that's just the way it worked. Alright, I'll hire you. Get in there. And then we'll need to delete this one soon. I guess we also need to get rid of this one, so we'll sell this one, yes. And this leaves us room here for new things. So it's a bit of a movement game, but we're getting there. Still didn't cure anyone in DNA lab. I don't really believe that, actually. Oh, we're just diagnosing them. Cures a range of genetic illnesses. Yeah, so we are diagnosing them, but we're not really curing them yet. Interesting. I hope that's no bug, so that we can't finish this level, but we'll see. Yeah, we're doing a good job diagnosing people. So we're getting rid of the queue slowly. Yeah, here are the ghosts. And now all of a sudden we can capture them and get rid of them, but now it's too late. Alright, let's start repairing some machines, but yeah, oh, of course, there is the warning again. We don't want machines to break down. Well, let's upgrade that one. Clown clinic required. All right. That's nice. Ooh, the heart racer is doing fine. Maintenance announcement. Plants need water. Here we are. Let's repair the plaster caster. Let's repair the helixer. This is all very bad. But these are all in good condition, so that's okay. But some stuff needs to be repaired. Another clown clinic required. Well, I don't mind building a clown clinic. I do believe it has to be pretty big again. Let's see. Yeah, I think it needs to be 4 by 4 Yeah, this won't do it. But this will, so let's just build it right here. At least we'll be able to cure a few patients and make some extra money. I think we are doing quite okay with money. I'm not complaining at this point. Alright, let's get some sunflowers in. Let's get a chair so that they can sit and rest. Alright, that's it. Alright, we've got ourselves a clown clinic now. need to get a GP's office here as well, then. For diagnosive purposes. Question is where exactly? There, are no, there is a door here, so they can walk right here. So we could build it here. I think I want it closer to this little alley. 
I have to say, it does appear to be working, but it, it's a real challenge in this hospital to get everything in the right spot. There's a lot of people queuing outside of the DNA lab. Yeah, I noticed that. The Helixer 2 is unlocked. That's great. Let's immediately upgrade it, because we really need that. And then we need to upgrade the shock therapy. Because a lot of patients are getting there. Minus 10 reputation. Thank you. Oh, we cured our first patients in the DNA lab. That's nice. A lot of patients were sent there to be diagnosed. But now we are also curing them. Now, I think I need to copy this. Place it right there. Say yes. Yes. There we are. Now we have a second DNA lab. We need to hire a few extra doctors to make sure that the ones that are available to get into the DNA lab can go there. Check whether there are doctors not in DNA lab that have that trait. Yeah, you come on. Get out of there. Get into the DNA lab. That's where you're going to work. Still make a little bit of money, so that's good. Now, we can't upgrade this one. It will cost us 15,000. Okay, that's better. Oh, then we can upgrade it. No worries, then. Let's just do that. Can really use those extra people, so that's worth it. Alright, let's just sell this one. That'll make us some money. That'll ensure that they will all go here. And then for now, we'll build a little G. What is a general diagnosis room here? Yeah, let's do so. Let's put in the windows. So then we have the main diagnosis rooms close together in a way that I wanted it. Right, let's put in a small radiator. And of course, a coffee maker and a chair. And then perhaps a plant. That's it. That's working. Staff promotion. All right, we will promote you. Then, right here, we can get rid of this one. So let's sell it. Yes. Staff promotion. We'll promote you. Two patients cured in the DNA lab. And it appears all cues are gone there as well. That's nice. So, there will be a f sort of flip-over point. Right now, we were a bit overcrowded with patients, and then you hit that flip-over point, and it just takes too long for them to get cured. And you get a lot of deaths, you will get a lot of unhappy patients, and patients will start leaving. Then your reputation takes a hit, but that has that takes time for it to work through. So, slowly, this our reputation will run down. More, more and more patients will either be healed and leave or um, die and well then also leave of course and in the end it takes time for enough patients to either die or get cured and leave for our hospital to really get a bit quieter and our reputation will keep falling that time so there will be might be a time that our reputation is so low that we get so few patients in that it will be rather silent in our hospital but from that point on, we can really deal with everyone and try and heal them all, do the best we can. And then after a while, we can see our reputation climbing again. But there's a little bit of a slowing effect in there. So, might as well be that reputation is now what it should be, but it will still go a bit lower. Because there's still too many patients in the hospital. But it, I think we're already at the point where... Yeah, it's getting quieter and quieter in the hospital. But that's precisely what we want. I'm not in it to get as many patients as we can. Well, at a certain point, of course, we are. But right now, I just want to cure as many as we can. And we can do that by making sure that we don't have too many patients and we have the time to cure them. And that's what we're trying to do now. Just to take the time to cure everyone. And now that it's not overcrowded, we can really get to it 
and get curing. Ah, that's good. I like it this way. Pharmacy emergency. All right, come in. No problem. And yeah, as we can see, it's starting to get really quiet in the hospital now because of our tarnished reputation. It's just fine, not good anymore. But this is helping us. Get a level 4 staff room. No, we won't. So we actually make money. And by moving this, we speeded things up a little bit. And now we should be fine at a certain point. Yep, they're upgrading the shock therapy. Nice. Staff training required. Yes, we're going to train some people. Basically for diagnostic purposes. A doctor, a nurse. Oh, that's it. Three people can be trained to hire a trainer. Guess the better diagnosis we can get to, the better it is for everyone. Alright, we need to hire another nurse. Because we have too few nurses. There he is. It's going to work in cardiology. Yeah, that's going to take time. Alright, I guess we need just one more nurse. There's one needed here. Oh, that's it. And one, two there. So I guess some of them are... Another seismic warning. Well, they follow each other quite quickly. Let's see. Yeah, most machines are in... Good enough condition. So that's nice. Dehumidifier. Yeah, this is all good. Alright, I think we can deal with this earthquake right now. Ooh, we need to fix this though. Well, let's start fixing some machines now. After the earthquake, they need some repairs. Yeah, this one's upgraded. Perfect upgrading, I have to say. Alright. Ooh, this one's nearly done upgrading. Perfect. But there's no janitor anymore. Probably running around repairing stuff. Well, that's fine. Well, things look a lot better than when we started. Although it is a little bit quieter in the hospital, I think it looks better. And it has been like over 35 minutes. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. If you haven't done so, please subscribe to my channel. If you have any tips, tricks, games you want to see me play or whatever, feel free to contact me and I'll respond to it. And then, of course, I hope to see you in another video. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.